<laughs> so uh, I went ahead and, and uh, AT&T uh, has, has an app, you know, my wireless app that'll tell you. Or you can text um, star data pound to AT&T and they'll, they'll send you a text message with your data. So anyway, to make a long story short, um, I was using 690 some odd megabytes, similar to Jeff Curvin in the cat room at, or in the chat room. I think he said he's using like 690 or so. So I was just under 700, and I, I have like uh, seven more days in my billing cycle. So I, it's fair to say I maybe average around 700. <clears throat> so I said to myself, huh, well, I seem to fit into the two uh, terabyte plan. That's pretty cool. I'm basically going to save five bucks a month. I'm like, oh, huh, huh, this isn't necessarily so bad. Um, yes, it stinks for the people that use a lot of data, but for myself so far, it doesn't seem bad. And so this morning, I wouldn't say I was defending AT&T, but I said, you know what? I'm okay with this. This is pretty decent. I can deal with it. But then, but then the day churned on and on and on, and I had more and more and more time to think about it. And, and this is where I start to have problems with this. First, we'll start off with the tethering. You know, at first I thought it was a deal. Hey, they're going to give me tethering for 20 bucks a month. But the problem is, is that that's shared with my two terabyte plan. So then you go. one has to ask the logical question of if it's all sucking from the same plan and I'm already tiered and limited to two terabytes or excuse me, gigabytes, <laughs> terabytes, <laughs> my bad. <laughs> I, did, I, I keep saying Sorry, that. Sorry, Chad, you lost me at all sucking. Yeah. I know. Um, you know, why are they charging me $20 for the privilege? Oh, and there goes Chad. Uh, that was they a thunderstorm, lost. but the, uh, his screen went black and we lost Chad. So we're going to try to get him back. But I believe what Chad was saying is that they're charging him for the privilege of using up his data faster. And my understanding, Georgia, is that, you know, for me, this is a big psychological thing thing because Americans are used to having unlimited data and now they have two gigs of data and there's a ten dollar overage so you could have five gigs of data as long as you don't mind paying an extra 30 bucks a month but psychologically I think it would have behooved AT&T to have a five gigabyte option even if it was the same rate at least people would see it there and they would feel you know heavy users would feel somewhat comforted that they got their little line item on the on the table yeah so what sorry Renee what happens when you go over your two gigs you get charged an extra 10 bucks per gig. And you could do that up to... It sounds like you could you just know, keep no doing it. I mean, if you're a heavy user, it sounds like you could just keep doing it. But um, I think people just are, will find it stressful to have, have to deal with overages every month instead of just knowing that they could buy a lump sum five gigs. Yeah, my, my thoughts are, you know, even for those that don't, that, that come close but wouldn't go over two gigs, you know, when the new phone comes out and perhaps it has a forward-facing camera, perhaps, um, you know, there's iChat, there's going to be a lot more usage in their, um, in their data rates. So, I'm, you know, it's, you know, a lot of people are saying, well, you know, I don't even get close to going over right now, but I wonder after the new phone comes out, um, how much more people will be using then. And what's interesting is... Um it's timed. These new data plans are timed for the exact same day that Steve Jobs takes the stage at WWDC 2010. It's staged for right. June 7th. And we can do a little bit of a comparison. For example, on Rogers right now, I pay 30 bucks a month for 6 gigabytes of data. And that's a special promotion. They don't offer it all the time. I think usually you get 3 gigs or something for that. But And I know you, you pay for only 500. Is that right? 500 megabytes? Yeah. 500 megabytes, $25. So we're we're pretty much used to this, and that I've never gone near six gigs. Are, are you? Do you play it close every month? I, I'm usually actually pretty good. Um, I've only gone over once ever. Um, but you know what I was hoping for, and I knew that this is probably just me being naive. But I was hoping that we would be going the other way, that we would be getting unlimited, and uh, that data rates would be uh, a little bit more free, a little bit more open. So. I, I, it really saddens me to see this happening because it just shows that the trend is going to be um, the opposite way that I was hoping it. They're complaining in the chat room that we sound like the droid, but it's coming through fine on our end. Sounds. Yeah, I'm going to just give it a shot. Take it out. Put it back. Let's see if that helps. Okay, how's that? All right, maybe I'm blaming Chad. Are you back with us? I am. I am back. All right, sorry. So yeah, they're accusing the rest of us of going droid in your absence. Uh. 
<laughs> so the, I, I was just saying, Chad, I was describing the plans that George and I have that are tiered, but our tiered comes with, like, I have six gigs and mine comes with free tethering. So I want to hand it to AT&T because they have finally found a way. I mean, Rogers couldn't do it, but AT&T has found a way to make me not feel so bad about my Rogers payment plan anymore. Yeah. Uh, so I'm trying to think where I was. So uh, basically what I was saying, if, if, if I can try to remember... Uh, is, sorry, is, Chad. I started to can think, you put your video on? Uh, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Okay, but, sorry. We're just dressing everybody today. So I'm, <laughs> I was one thing at a time. I had to start the call first, and then I'm, sorry, I my started apologies. the video. I mean, it's okay. Um, uh, so uh, where, where was I? Oh, oh, yes. I keep getting distracted. Ah, oh, focus, focus. Um, so then it started to anger me. I was like, well, now wait a minute. Um. They've already limited me to two terabytes, which I'm okay with because I'm not using the full two terabytes. Yeah, gigabytes, so that's gigabytes. fine. Ah, gigabytes. Why do I keep calling them terabytes? My bad. Because you're terrified Maybe of them bytes. That, that's, that must be what it is. Um, and then I got angry saying, well, well why, why should I have to pay for the privilege of using those two gigabytes? That makes no sense to me. So that actually started to make me angry. And then I started to digest on it a little bit more and said, well, now, wait a minute. If 3G video chat is coming, that's likely going to add on to my video usage. And with me being able to run background applications like, let's say, Pandora, I might start to use that. And, well, now, wait a minute. What if um, AT&T announces – or, not, excuse me, not AT&T. What if Apple announces iTunes in the cloud and we start to stream all of yes, our music? Yes, sir. Yeah. So, so the next thing you know, that two terabytes is not going to be enough. So that is why I'm angry because it's almost like they know what's gigabytes, coming. Gigabytes, Chad. Gigabytes. Ugh, that's all right. I'll just stop talking in terms of numbers. <laughs> they, they know what's coming, and they're, they're setting it up ahead of time to nickel and dime their customers into paying them more money. And I am not happy about that at all. That, yeah. That's how I envision what's happening. Like I said, at first I thought it was fair, but the more I thought about it, this is totally now, not Chad, cool. You just made me think that AT&T sees the next generation iPhone coming with video chat, with streaming iTunes.com, mm -hmm. with background mm -hmm. radio, and yep. they are deathly afraid that – because we know that iPhone users use more features on their iPhones than the typical smartphone users, that they're about to get hit with an even bigger freight train, and maybe they don't think their pipes can handle it, and they are desperately trying to find a way to disincentivize Americans mm -hmm. from using their data. And that's exactly what I think the $20 charge is, is to de-incentivize people from actually tethering. Uh, I think that's step one. But Do, do you think you know, really, it, it though, make, Chad, it's – Go ahead. Sorry, Chad. Do you think it's really just the tethering, or do you think that they're worried about when the new phone comes out that people are going to be, you know, Using streaming, it. iChat, yeah, doing all yeah. kinds of things that yeah. are – you know, tethering's kind of a um, – more of a techie elite thing that only a few people would use, but you know, using iChat and streaming, everyone already gets. So I think they're they're thinking, you know, ahead to the new phone, um, and well, thinking I'm, that they can right. get us for that. I'm going to put it in this context, and I know we're going to talk about it a little bit later on, but I'm just using this as a framework to, framework to support my argument. The D8 conference, there was a guy in the audience that lived in Houston, I think it was Houston, that said to Steve Jobs, he's like, "Hey, dude." Um, are you working with AT&T because you know, I love the phone, uh, but I need to be able to make a phone call, right? So, so that's my concern is that you know, AT&T in certain markets, certainly not mine, but in certain markets, users have problems making 